New details at four on the high-profile murder of an Osceola County mom. Just hours ago, a judge sentenced her estranged husband and his father to life in prison for second-degree murder. It's a major development, nearly two years since the disappearance of Nicole Montavo. News 6's Lauren Cervantes joins us now live from Osceola County. And Lauren, Nicole's family spoke during today's sentencing. That's right, her siblings read statements in court. We heard from her sister and both of her brothers. It was emotional watching the Montalvo family as the judge gave the sentencing for her estranged husband, Christopher Otero Rivera, and then his father, Angel Rivera. To count one, in your case, you are sentenced to life in prison. Nicole Montalvo's family visibly emotional as the words came out of the judge's mouth. Both Christopher Otero Rivera and Angel Rivera will spend life in prison for second degree murder. The two receiving the same sentencing this morning. Montalvo's brother Stephen calling it appropriate. Look at those pictures of your sister. It's just it's something nobody should ever have to go through. And, you know, we're thankful that justice was served. We're not going to give them any time of day to think about them anymore. And that's the focus. The little boy to focus on. Yeah. The sentence came after the court heard from Montalvo's sister and brothers, each describing what they've experienced since her death. It physically pains me to say my sister was murdered by her estranged husband and father and his father. What's more unsettling is to hear your mother weep at the loss of her child, to know that she waited years for her daughter to escape ongoing violence, only to then be butchered and discarded like she never even mattered. The family today committing to advocate for those dealing with domestic abuse. Anybody who is dealing with domestic violence, no matter what form, please seek help. You don't want to end up feeling the pain that we have felt, the anxiety, the depression, the anger, the guilt. No matter what it is, just please find someone to talk to. The defense says today that they are planning to appeal, telling us that they've already filed paperwork today to start that process. And the prosecution says that's their right and they will be there. In Osceola County, I'm Lauren Cervantes, getting results, News 6.